All right, all right. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Manchester United career mode in FIFA 21 with the updated kits. So let's take a look what we have got today. We're getting to this time in the season where we're going to be heavily focused oh, definitely on the Champions League. We've got to make sure we win the league. But yeah, those those big, those important games are going to be coming real soon. It feels like a season we've been very dominant, but Liverpool have been as well. If we take a look at the stats... Like, we've both only lost the one game, and like, I, th I think we've been incredible, really. If you look at the, the goals, the goals for and goals against, our goal difference. But why don't we kick things off with a game against Everton here? Not going to make any major changes, just Luke Shaw will just put Tallers, and even though we train Tallers to centre midfield, uh, yeah, you put that warning sign that comes up, get rid of it easy, just, yeah, click on left wing back. Doesn't impact. If we do, for example, let's do, for example, we put him for Pogba. So I don't really need to train him back to left back. <laughs> He's still got it in his positions. Maybe this time around, we'll see Kamavinga make the bench. We rotate those center mids. We talk about Rice and Bellingham. They'll make the bench at different times. But yeah, let's go. It's good to have a center half on the bench. See if Varane or Maguire, who gets the most tight out of those. But yeah, we're going in real strong for this one because we really need to. We need to keep winning games. Liverpool's right on a hammer. Let's get it. Now Maguire get in his way. Yeah. Forced a poor shot. We get it. Oh, go across. Well done, Sancho, getting in that space. <laughs> oh, he does it again. So oh. <laughs> Almost through. Oh. Skill, man. Sorry. Oh, laid it off. Oh, Fernandez! Bruno is absolutely amazing. Good team goal, though. And the fans are absolutely loving it. Just, yeah, see, quick pass there to Bruno. Look at that. It's beautiful, quick football. Let's go, Bruno. That's 16 in the Premier League for Bruno Fernandez. Definitely on target to get 20 goals. Yeah, look, Harry's actually making a run. Harry, go back. And I like how I passed to him. There we go. We still utilized him in the attack. So it will be a good move. <laughs> if it leads... Oh, no. Guys, I wanted that to be a through ball to Tales and, yeah, play in front of him. But Rashford was in the kind of area that was close. Passing can be, like... Oh, I guess you've got to turn off assisted passing if you want to play. But that means you have to be right on if you want to go manual. That's the only thing. You have to be perfect with it. There we go. That composed slow passing into the box, like, is amazing. Like, it just seems to work. Like this. You just hold off. And you just walk almost. Like, that makes it look easy when you do that. And Pogba. <laughs> Pickford. He, he's back to Everton form, not Euros form. Here we are now. The ball's on. Oh, it is going to be. Harmes. James, sorry. <laughs> when there's two different James on the pitch, it gets confusing and they're pronounced differently. <laughs> there, uh, there he is. That's funny. So yeah, after that game now, we're just gonna round up the window. We're not really looking at anyone. We're happy with our squad. We'll save new signings and sales for next season. So still get in your suggestions. So I keep it in mind, yeah, when that time comes. Greeley, this is what we wanted. We didn't want him at the club anymore, even though it's not to Man City. Two year lot, see, I don't, we just don't have to worry. I wouldn't actually mind that. But to be fair, I'd wanna be realistic or just what I think could be best, a one-year short loan. Like, is a one-year loan, he'll come back January next season or the end of this season? If we want to be direct, like one year, I, don't, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't even know what's going to happen there. If we, it might be short loan. See what they think. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to guess that. We're, we're going to find out. We're going to find out anyway. Grealish? Okay, short-term loan. But I, oh, can it be like three months? Yeah, that might just be from January to the end of the season in FIFA. What a short-term loan. 
But I think they could be a bit more descriptive and they could make it even more like detailed as well. Like you could make a loan for a month, two months, three months. We're going to accept that regardless. But it just says short term. Logically, that's in January until the end of the season. So we don't need to be worried about Grealish's at Manchester United when he's at Man City in real life. Haven't been using him anyway. But again, look at the most random... Like Bruno, he's coming out the sky. He can, That man can do anything. And look at that. Gomez goes to Juventus. Isn't it nice, Juventus? Yeah. They just improved Liverpool defense there. McTominay, no real intentions of selling him, to be fair. Not at this point, anyway. And yep, Grealish confirmed. So we don't need to have any more Grealish conversations for a while. Van der Beek, again, that's still a no. But talk about timing. Guys, that is big money. Like, that's ridiculous money. The window's ended, so this will be for next season. But I don't want to be coming up against... If it was another team, maybe I'll consider... But would another team offer this money? Is Van der Beek really worth that much, though? Like, oh, if it was another big team outside of the Premier League, I'd probably consider it. So I'm going to reject that because I'm not going to be playing Man City games next season and have Van der Beek scoring against us. <laughs> nah. But if it was another team, I may have considered... Yeah, yeah, that that's a big offer. But anyway, the windows close. Monthly scouting report. I think that Riley Kelly might be a talent. The rest aren't going to be anything special. You can tell by their potential. So we're just going to reject them. Sure. I'm going to show you their values, but none of... Yeah, they're all going to be that 100. But Riley Kelly, he could be something. No, okay. <laughs> the other ones are that bad. He's still nowhere near. And he looked much better than the rest like by his overall... Even though his value doesn't look terrible, but that could just be, yeah, based off his his overall. But anyway, I've signed players with better potential with lower value, so that's interesting. So that one was pretty disappointing. We'll just have to go... The message is going to be gone. Go over to Youth Academy now. Take a look. Any of these guys worth signing up at this point? I feel like we just leave them in the youth squad until they're ready. Uh, just two of them. Yeah, two of the guys that are on balance, I'll give them development plans. Jaden Jarvis looks like he could become a, like a really, really good CDM. Like just look at his attributes. Like he's got pace. Along with strength too, 74 aggression. He could be so good to use, man. I, I'm actually really excited for how he looks as a player. What do you guys think? High defensive work rate. Traore, Alu Traore, yeah, he's one we'll consider. Uh, not Armoured, Diallo. We've accepted a couple. I like how you get these sudden transfer offers when the window is actually ended, man. Tawny prize money. That's FA Cup, 200k. But West Brom coming up now. I just want to take a look. Keep on top of the schedules. Uh, yeah, we can sim this one even though it's away from home. Uh, but yeah, with our strongest team. <laughs> look at that break. So, uh, yeah, West Brom having a bit of struggling season. Uh, shouldn't really be an issue. Quick sim. They've got a few tired players as well, but, yeah, 3-1. With Bruno, Haaland, and Harry Maguire, who opened the scoring in this game. And Trio. Yeah, man, this needs to be fixed. Like, I know. I know. It happens. Are Liverpool going to get a result in their extra game? If that's going to be up, we'll find out. Why is Big Sam actually looking slim, though? <laughs> Why is he look? <laughs> Why is he looking slim? Ah, oh, also Pedri now. Yeah, he's confirmed that. We'll change him to the attacking midfield. And that boosted his overall by one there. That's nice. 79 he is now. What's our progress assessment looking like? If we just take a look at some objectives here, there's one tick for that one. We're probably not going to sign three players in North America. I don't like that, to be fair. It's almost too many. Obviously, expectation to win the Champions League, Premier League title. Like, yeah, big success, man. Big expectations. But we're seeing that six points clear right now. So Liverpool, they must have only got a draw from their game. <laughs> That's the logical thing. So Spurs are actually in third position. We had a recent game against Arva. We played them really recently. That was that cup game, wasn't it? 
really recently also known as the last episode where we beat them 5-1 in the cup. So we did just beat them. So I'm confident. But it's a different matchup. This is Premier League on the line. Oh, they're so tight and they're using one of those guys. Uh, the tired centre-back. I'm not going to... What? Chia Mulera got close enough. Everyone is stuffed. And we've managed our fitness so well. <laughs> You're like, mate, you just didn't have a game. <laughs> you had a rest for over a week. Hey, I'm going to take it. <laughs> I'm going to take it. We should ruin them, honestly. I want to make sure we have some young guns on the bench. The just-in-case situation. Bellingham, like, this is not resting because of tiredness of anyone. It's just players. This is just quality of players. Pedri, yeah. Pedri to come on. James could be a coming on situation. Uh, Paron. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're probably not going to need to sub Juan Bissaka. We'll take that lot off. Yeah, Paron, just in case. Like winning by three or something like that. If not, James is the winger we bring on. That's it. We don't have too many younger players. Or maybe Axel. Yeah, Axel for Bay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with it like that. Still, overall, very strong team. Let's just get right into the match. So I really want to conserve our energy early. <laughs> I got my tactics, man. Not in terms of formation, just how I want to play. Oh, no. I can't get too excited. No! No, that's going to look so dumb. Come on. Come on. How come I couldn't catch up to him? See, that's the thing. When I feel like... I don't even want to say too much. Let's just get the goal back, man. Like, Luke Shaw. But we're going to get them. We're going to get them. No stress, guys. Like, in my mind, we're winning this game. Like, or we're going to win it. You see what I mean? It's the passing again. Like, you don't need to panic. Just pass. Vanderbeek. Like, you see how I'm not, like, I'm not, like, I'm not phased. I'm unfazed. Like, that was too easy. Or I was confident I was going to get it anyway. Vanderbeek. Maybe it's no surprise City put in a big bid. <laughs> easy as you like. Son. No! Now it's happened for us, you ma- Seriously. Seriously. That happened in the last episode. Or is that a foul? Either way. Like, was that in the box? Or I feel with all the booing, it's a penalty, yeah. But it wasn't. Seriously. A Harry Kane. Okay, I'm trying to look where he's looking. It looks left. Got it. Got it. But it wasn't a penalty. Got it. I want to do it again. This is just... I did the same in the last episode when we won a penalty. Like... I got the ball... Like, it was never a foul, even before I was... Like... I know, what do you... I'm just going to play it, and you guys make of it what you will. Because I didn't get the ball initially, but I didn't really get the man with a tackle. Like, that it wasn't penalty-worthy. It wasn't foul-worthy, surely. Because I didn't even tackle. I just ran at the ball. But anyway. It doesn't matter, because my superior penalty-guessing came to the fore there, so... That's it. Yeah, we needed the ball to go out, man. Like, I'm going... We're not even losing. And I'm going 4-2-4. Four, four. Fernandez not coming. See, Van Der Beek's 90 overall. <laughs> but you see my thing. His stamina's really... He's not overly pacey. He's not slow, but... Very good passer, but... I don't know, man. 90 overall worthy? We need to bring on Greenwood. Two left footers, so who do you prefer there? Maybe the one with the best curve? 
Yeah, Harlan. Keep finesse shots in mind. It's with Bergwijn. Should have been a goal chance. Maguire. Okay, what I'm going to do is get an extra player forward. And that's Maguire. Just, just see my point. Do it again. Now Maguire's on. Nah, that, I didn't go that far ahead. You just work around. They're defensive, man. Oh, and I still broke through ya. Tottenham. Tottenham. What a late winner. Late winner for Haaland. Let's go. Let's go. 424 is OP, man. You just have enough. Just that extra. In attack. Haaland. Oh, look at that. Yeah, no goalkeeper's getting to that. He was just too good. Erling 14 for the season. Yeah. Uh, they've got a corner. Okay, control someone big. No. Got this. Pyron. He come on and he did a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's still alive. And again, we don't have the goalkeeper kits updated, at least for Manchester United, some other teams. But anyway, focus right now on getting the victory. Pedri, clear it. Launch it. Launch it into space. There we go. Tight game. Sometimes we need one like that. Not Yeah, we don't want it. Hey, that early goal, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We won the game, lads. Yeah, sometimes it's good to have that, yeah, really close one. It's interesting <laughs> from a viewer's point of view. And well, here we'll just take a look at some messages after that game now. It's another monthly scouting update. Hopefully get someone of note from Spain. I did say, didn't I? We should be getting someone good from Spain. So for now, I want to do like an early look. Who's probably the best? Ivan Fernandez, minimum of 50 overall at 17 though. Let's go down on these guys. Probably could have said that a better way, but uh, maybe we won't get anyone. I don't think this guy's value is going to be high. No, it's 450k. Just wondering about his overall. Maybe we'll wait on him. Everyone else we probably decline, to be fair. When we see a player chat, it's just Tales. Yeah, he's happy at the moment. Just saying, I'm proud of you. Also, Axel. Yeah, it's just defensive center back. We were training him on. We'll leave that there. I'll look into some others. Maybe I'll switch up. Uh, with their development plans but uh, yeah we're going to leave it there for now because we're going to kick off the next episode with a round of 16 champions league game if you guys are excited for that leave a big like on the video get a comment in as well i always like seeing your guys comments on the videos but let's just take a look where we are sitting in the premier league at the moment currently we're top six points clear i think we're in a point where we are we are pretty confident that we are going to win the premier league title now so we should get through the season uh, pretty quickly uh, from this point. We'll sim some easier games. That's what I mean, really. So the Champions League is going to be a big focus. We've still got a lot of games left because we're still in the Cups and that. So, yeah, there should be a lot of games coming. Like, there should be a decent amount of fixtures in the following month. Yeah, there you go, March and then April. Obviously, yeah, if we keep going uh, in the Cups and Champions League, they'll repeat. Uh, you'll see them in the following month, or the next month after. So... Anyway, we're going to leave it there for now. Hopefully, you guys enjoying the series. Be sure to leave a like. And I do say it recently in the videos I said in the last episode. But yeah, Fever 22 is really coming soon. Can't wait to get into it and start making the content for the new game. But I did want to say, uh, I don't currently have a working next-gen console. So I'm probably going to do it on PC. The positive is I'm going to do a long series and a long Man United series. And it's going to... Then I'm going to be able to have mods. So that's going to be the difference between next-gen and PC gamers because, or yeah, just FIFA on PC, uh, like right now, going to be able to add all these extra things that won't be in the normal FIFA game. So yeah, as much as next gen will be, uh, sure, like gameplay might be better and certain things, uh, little features, but really I take I take FIFA with mods over next gen. <laughs> That's what I'm doing here, right? So it's going to be simple. It's going to be similar to that, I guess. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there for now and I'll see you guys next time.